need to measure, okay? Let's talk about what radian measure is. Real quick, there's basically two ways or two units you can give the measure of an angle. What, do, what have we been using? You've been using degrees, okay? So for an angle that I'm making right now with my hand, I would say it's 90 degrees, right? Well, now there's this other unit called radian that you can tell me the measure of this angle. And it won't be 90, it'll be something else, and more likely it's like in terms of pi, okay? You can give it in decimal also, but we're going to leave it mostly in terms of pi, okay? Is there going like a specific definition for radian? No, we just write out radian. Okay. But I don't have, you don't have to, if, it, if the problem says give me the measure in radians, you don't have to write out the word radians. Just like how y'all know we put inches sometimes, or you can always put centimeters, but if you're answering it, it depends. So sometimes, I know you are supposed to, but you know, I still found it correct. That, that's the way it is with this. So you don't have to write it out. The, the problem or the whole section of the problems are going to say, Put these in radian measure. You see when you have in terms of pi, I know that it's in radian measure. So, so this is like a different unit. And the way you get this unit is basically the ratio of the arc length to the radius of the circle. Okay? So here's a picture to kind of help with what a radian is. So one radian, okay. Is this angle measure here is related to the radius. So the length of the radius is that much. So in this case, one, two, three, four, five, six units. Okay. Well, this is six units in length going from there to there. So when the radius and the arc are equal, that represents one radian. Okay. So if I were to continue that length right there, six units, maybe six more. And I go on the far off right there. So what would this arc measure be or this angle measure be? Two radians. Okay? And so forth. So a radian again can be in this. It's the measure of an angle or a measure of an arc. Okay. Most people know what's an angle. And a radian deals with this right here. The length of the radius, you want to put a ratio to the arc. So when it's one to one, it's one radian. Okay. Um, yes, there is. We're going to talk about that right now. Okay. So, again, just reading again. You don't have to write everything down. You write down whatever you feel is needed. Okay. When a central angle intercepts an arc that has the same length as the radius, then the measure of that angle is defined to be one radius. So if you want to do maybe draw the picture and not write out the word, because I know that can be a bit much, but this kind of helps. This is what I did not do to the visual here with the creativity, and so they were like, all right. So uh, let me go through something else to help you out. So while y'all are writing that or drawing the picture, Mark was saying, well, what is it like according to the circle, okay? The full rotation. So when you're talking about that, you mean the full rotation. Okay, so let's say an angle, you mean the full rotation of 360 degrees makes a full circle. That measures two pi radius. Okay, think about it. If the radius keeps going, 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 what do you think two pi comes from now? Two pi r, right? Think about it. How many radiuses or radii go around the whole circle? Two to pi, okay? And that's where that comes from. Two pi radiuses. Okay, I got that from a video from Khan Academy just a second. But two pi radii complete the full circle. So there are two pi radians in a in 360. So 360 degrees, I don't want to highlight that. It's just 360 degrees. Well, think about it. If that's 360 and that's 2 pi radius, what would it be for 180? 1 pi, right? And so you can see here, if you go just a rotation of 180 degrees, then that's going to be 1 pi. Okay? In 
you can probably figure out some other nice, easy uh, measures like 90 to 70. I'm going to show you those there. Okay, see? So, a full rotation is two pi radians, which again comes from the circumference, of having radii of the interval circle. Okay? All right. So, I'm going to need to do that. 360 is two pi radians, 180 is one pi radian. Okay, one pi radian.
you pour the water in your skin, you go like this, and then you end up, oops, you end up like, oh, I'm going to pour it underneath, so it's like, like this. Okay, so yeah, okay. Okay. So, no one poster on the angles are. Okay. Now, here's what the circle looks like in radian measure. Okay. And we just kind of briefly talked about it. So, we start here. So, we start here. Okay. And if I go here, everybody else has a second angle that's a 90 degree. Is pi over 2, okay? 180 degrees is just 1 pi. This right here is 3 halves pi. And then all the way a complete circle, we say, is what? 2 pi. Okay, so theta is. The symbol that we're going to use to represent radian measure. Okay. Okay. This is the symbol we're going to represent. Okay. So I'm going to have you draw an angle. I'll give you the radian measure. I'll give you the radian measure, and you'll have to draw the angle there. Now, if you want to go ahead and convert it to degrees because you're used to knowing what the degrees look like going around, you can do that. Okay. But if you want to see, if you're in quadrant one, quadrant one, it goes from zero to pi over two radians. In quadrant two, it goes from pi over two to pi radians. Okay, so that's what this is sitting right here. Okay. In quadrant three, from pi to three pi over two, and then in quadrant four, three times pi to two pi. Okay, so this will be on my webpage. You can look at that. Uh, we'll talk about what theta is here in a second when we go over Okay, so we want to know how to convert degrees to radians and radians to degrees. Okay, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you uh, degree measure of, I don't know, 120 degrees, and I'm going to say turn that into a radian measure. Okay, so here's how you convert. Like how you convert inches to feet. When you do multiply by 12, that's it, right? That's it. Divide by 12, yeah. Okay, or multiply by, what else? Yeah. So, uh, what's 12? Sorry. So here's what you do for degrees to radians. You multiply by pi over 180, and it will end up being radians. If you'd rather write it like this,
table, the little circle, has a measure of one radian. Okay? If the radius is six centimeters, what's the measure of this intercepted RC degree? So let's just draw a little picture so you can see what we're talking about. So in the whole unit circle, okay, and it says that the radius is six centimeters, and this is a go through there. And if it's one radian, how big is this arc, y'all? How big is the arc if it's one radian? Six centimeters. Remember when I said that the radius is the same there, so that can represent one radian? Okay. So that's what it looks like. And so we're going to find the measure of that. Okay. Well, how did I say a second ago to turn radian into degree? We multiply by what? 180 degrees over pi. And remember how radian took out the bottom? Look what happens to the radian. They cancel out. Okay, that's like the, when you use different words, remember centimeters to meters and all that. Okay. And they, you know, they do it to cancel out. So that's all that that is by the radians at the bottom. So basically, 1 times 180 is just 180 divided by pi. This, you want to go ahead and actually plug into the calculator. What's 180 divided by second pi? So, one radian is roughly, and this is a 57.3 degrees. Okay. One radian is roughly 57.3 degrees. Okay. So, it didn't have to do anything with the six. It's just, I wanted to show you that. So, the radius is six, and the arc length is six. That means that that's one radian. Okay. Yes.
two radii. Remember we just kind of talked about that? Two radii, two radius. Okay. What do I multiply them by? Oh, Thank you. 